Hello YouTube! Today we are going to be doing a little bit of Nizel Isle. Um, Cashew here is very close to finishing his Burt Gang. I've only got a few more points left to go. Um, I'm going to do Neo Nizel Isle because the campaign is currently going on and you can get question mark items uh, for that can appraise to like really valuable stuff or like pulse weapons and things. So I'm just going to show you real quick just where to buy the KI, how to get started, and we're going to talk a little bit along the way as to what the floors are like. If we're lucky, I'll get to show you all the different floors that you can possibly encounter and give you basically my experience as someone who is going to be soloing each of the floors. Also has a character that's going to be stationed at the main lamp in order to click it and, and take you up to the next floor. So if this is your first time seeing what Nizel Isle is all about, or um, maybe you're thinking about working on a mythic, you should really be aware of this process. It's a little bit easier in a group setting, but you can do it absolutely solo. It's going to take you a lot longer. Again, this will just be a good way to get you thinking about your situation and how to get those points for a mythic weapon. So right here, if you're not familiar with the way assaults work in general, you do need to get a tag from Rytal, and then you take it over to Sorrowful Sage. And like I said, the campaign is going on right now for Neo Nizel Isle. Uh, so I'm going to do that one first. And hopefully we don't get too many uh, multi-lamp in order floors. It's a floor where you have to turn on all these lamps at random points and you have to turn them on in a specific order. They're kind of annoying. It's probably the worst thing that could happen, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Either way, here's a Neo Nizel Isles called Nizel Isle Uncharted. And swap over to Quetch, who's going to be doing a lot of the work. And here we go. So basically, you can bring a few different jobs to doing this content. There's a lot of like, there's a lot of like running around and uh, killing enemies quickly. So Blue Mage is really valuable and is my preferred job for this. You don't even need that good of a Blue Mage. You just need a few AOE spells, um, subduction some job traits for like dual wield and stuff i was doing this before my blue mage was even 1200 job points it is older content once you have orders of any kind you can just click this teleporter and it will bring you to the the place that You've got orders for, in our case, it's Nizel Isle. Let's get started. So there is one thing you have to do before you go in and that is obtain command verification. I think I'm out of uh, Imperial standing on one of my characters. So we'll see if I can get it or not. Uh, it costs 50 Imperial standing. Yeah, here we go. So it says basically, do you want command verification? You say yes. They say you need 50 Imperial standing. You say yes. And uh, actually, I should be giving this to Cashew, but it doesn't super matter. He's the one who's making the Burt Gang. Uh, but only one person can have that. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and take us in. So the person who has the command verification is gets like slightly higher... I should have said what points you're actually getting from this content. You're getting the um, Nizel, Nizel tokens? N Nizel tokens, I think? I, 
have to check that. <laughs> Okay, so the way this works is you pick a target floor, and yeah, that is your max floor you can get to. Um, now, the thing about Neonizal is when you finish a floor, you can click an option that's like skip floors, and it kicks you up uh, a random number of floors, and so it's a little bit different from regular Nizal in that respect, but we're just going to dive into it, and you'll see as we go. And for my uh, Twitch viewers here, I am going to be cutting the music just so it makes editing a little bit easier. Cool. So here we are. Uh, objective, activate all lamps. It might be kind of hard to read, but uh, just see that that objective is there. And uh, yeah, basically activate all lamps could be really good or really bad. So I should have taken Cashew with me in case we get the code floor. So uh, there is one type of floor that you can get where basically everybody in the party has to click the same lamp and it's, it registers your code. Same time lamps. So same time lamps is all lamps have to be activated within a small window. It's not really a small window. It's a pretty generous window, at least nowadays. So all I have to do is find the rest of the lamps. One thing you definitely want to have for this content is some kind of way to increase your run speed. I've got a macro here that just equips my Carmine legs. Oh, hey Cashew. This is going to be the most eerily quiet run I've ever done. I keep meaning to like change my uh, VOD or not VOD uh, recording channel from having the the music app, but every time I try to change that, it messes up something else entirely. I bet you it's either just this lamp or there's one more. Okay. I bet you this is the last one. Yeah. All right, so that's floor one done. So I'm going to take Cashew, and I'm going to choose travel to floor question mark. F swap over to him quickly so we can see this. So I can either go to floor two, which is the next floor, or floor question mark, which is a random amount of floors from here up. Now, the reason I'd want to do that is because on the floors with the bosses, which are floors 20, 40, 60, 80, and 100, the boss gives a guaranteed like rare drop. It's not the, it's not the valuable gear, but it's, uh, oh, eliminate specific enemies. Um, but it's like Zenny items, Zenny point items and uh, pouches, linen pouches, like Alexandrites. So this, this floor is called, uh, this floor's goal is eliminate specified enemies. So one thing you want to pay attention to when you are doing this is specified enemies versus specified enemy. And I'll get to that when we get to a floor like that. But specified enemies is always some kind of treasures mob type. And there's only a handful of mob types that it can be. I just happen to know that it is um, puddings. So we're going to find and eliminate all the puddings. Oh, I didn't finish killing this guy. During campaign, 80 gives guaranteed cotton purse and 100 gives guaranteed linen coin purse. I did not know that it was that specific. Good to know. I mean, as you saw, we started on floor 1 and um, we skipped to floor 10 with that first skip. So depending upon how good you are at the content and um, how your skips go, you could end up with getting to floors 80 or 100. 
But the goal is to target. You want to target floors 20, 40, 60, 80, and 100 as best you can. So, like, I skip to 10, and um, if I skip again, I could skip past... Oop, Tokoko is here. Uh, I could skip past 20 if I skip again, but 10's kind of far away if I go one floor at a time. So I have to make the decision, do I want to try skipping and risk overshooting 20? Or do I want to go one floor at a time until I get to 20? So another thing you might have just seen is I stopped and killed Tokoko, who is a an NM. They're on every single floor. I believe this to be true. Chat can correct me if it's wrong. But on every single floor, there's at least one NM that is like a regular old Final Fantasy XI NM you might have found out in the wild, even during like 75 cap. And that NM gives you a question mark item. That part is, is true. Uh, in this case, I got a question mark necklace. Okay, I'm seeing most floors from chat here, and that some do not have an NM. But as far as you can, you can almost guarantee uh, floor objective ten. I'm gonna skip. I might skip past twenty, but I'm not gonna take ten floor. I'm not gonna go ten floors up. Um, you can you can almost count. Ooh, it brought me straight to floor twenty. Look at that. You can almost count on one NM per floor, and that NM will give you the question mark item. Those question mark items are what you're appraising for to try to get valuable drops and good loot from this content. Another thing I should point out is that the... Uh, this is the boss, by the way. Dabagar, the stoic. That face looks very stoic. Um, yes, that's correct. So you do need to click and open. So it drops a brown chest. Yes, let me clarify. When you kill an NM, it drops a brown chest, and that brown chest will be what gives you uh, a question mark item. And also, like, the brown chest here, for example, is going to give me, into the, in the pool, it's going to give me... Okay, one Alexandrite was my drop. No, I see. No, put it straight into my inventory. It gave me a box plus two. We'll appraise all this stuff later and uh, show you what kind of uh, loot you're possible to get. I'm going to skip again. I'm going to go to question mark. Ah, uh, yes. So what I was going to say a moment ago. I should point out that skipping floors is not giving me more Nizel tokens um, per se. All it's doing is pushing me closer and closer to the higher level floors. You are only getting tokens per floor you actually clear. Oh, here we go. Eliminate specified enemy. So this is where you want to distinguish between specified enemies and specified enemy. So notice here I'm checking. You can't see the results of these checks. And here's an NM. But what you're looking for with specified enemy is an enemy that is not an NM but checks as one. So it'll say something about a notorious monster in the in the log. Um, so if you find a mob that's normally a regular mob uh, in, in the zone, and then you see it's checking as notorious, that's the one you want to kill. So that's the specified enemy. Impossible to gauge. There you go. Thank you. I couldn't remember what the uh, what the check result is for that. All right. So far, there's lots of Peritons. We're just looking for one mob that checks as impossible to gauge. I don't have any of my buffs on. I don't even have songs from Cashew. I really would have bet it was that that bird, but no.
Oh, there it is. Alright, let's cast Aqua Veil while I swap over to Cashew and take us up. Eventually, we're going to hit a time limit, so you have 30 minutes in the zone. Let's sing a couple songs, too. And, uh... Never mind. Just one song. Yep. I forgot. I messed up Cashew's gear. So he's going to be singing short duration songs for a little bit. Um, normally, so you have 30 minutes going in. And you want to be careful because you need to actually exit or reach your target floor and defeat it before the time runs out. Wait, what is my eliminate enemy leader? You want to reach the exit. You want to take the exit or reach your target floor and defeat it before the time runs out. They do give you a 10 minute warning and a five minute warning. So you need to be paying attention to your chat log. And uh, in general, when I'm doing this like by myself like this, I try to leave roughly after 10 minutes. The 10 minute warning pops up. You can push it. So this is the boss right here. You can push it a little bit further. You can push it a good deal further if you've got a full party and everybody knows what they're doing. Uh, so this is eliminate enemy leader for this floor, which means you're just looking for a unique um, mob that is like a boss in in treasures content. So there's like chariots, there's uh, this imp, there's a flayer type mob. I was about to say we could look for an NM. Oh, that's not it. Never mind. Friar's lantern. I'm gonna do I'm gonna go through like one more room and see if I can find the NM for this floor. If I can't, I'll just go on the next floor up. Because the uh You don't wanna waste time, but at the same at the same time, like you're here for treasure slash points. So I like to give a little bit of a a look. Alright, this is the last room. If there's nothing here, I'm going up. This might even be where Cashew is. Come on, it had to be the winding one. Alright. I'm up. Again, we're looking to hit floor 40. And then possibly floor 60. I did set 60 as my goal. I probably should have just set it at 100. Activate all lamps. This could be the end of me anyway. <laughs> I'm having Cashew follow me. He's going to get a... Uh, stuck on things because I run faster. Now, the reason I'm bringing Cashew is if it's either a code lamp or an order lamp. I want him positioned on one of those lamps. Is this the NM? It is. Uh, in order to hit it, uh, if it's a code lamp, he needs to hit it anyway. If it's an order lamp, I really just need an extra hand on uh, one of the lamps. Please be code lamp. Same time. Easy. Okay. I'm going to drop Cashew back off at the... Uh... At the floor, uh, the floor lamp. One thing you should also know about lamp floors, uh, and this one isn't very obvious because the game doesn't really mention it, but you can't get two lamp floors in a row, which is good news. Now, I believe that changes when you skip. Something to be aware of. So if you're like, if you're just the type of person who just gets sick of lamp floors, if you see one here like I do, uh, and you just absolutely don't want it, just don't skip. Just go, go to the next floor and you'll be guaranteed to not get a lamp floor. Did that activate? It did. Come 
on. All right, and now we're on floor 35 anyway, so I'm just gonna go up one floor at a time and get to level 40, or get to floor 40. Plus, I'm avoiding a lamp floor by doing this. Specific enemy. So, yeah, so you'll start to learn as you do this which floors grant you, like, the f kind of, like, fastest return for your time. And specific enemy can be that. Like, the very first enemy you check could very well be the, the, uh, the, the specific enemy. I'm going to check around this corner quickly. And you hit it, you go up, you know? So some runs are faster than others because of that. One thing I do want to say about this content is I really like it. Um, it can be very stressful. Here's the bird. It can be very stressful if you get, again, the lamps in order. Objective can just be so demoralizing. Oh, that's it anyway. Let's go up. Um, oh, did they not? Did I not kill it? Oh. <laughs> All right, it's dead now. And that's something to be aware of. Uh, one of my personal... One of my personal pet peeves is that I wish they would change the order lamps and just not... I, I don't know. Make them less punishing if you're in a smaller party. I don't really know what to say. But uh, of all the like changes to older content that I think could be made, I think one of the easiest ones you could do is change... Um, change Nizel Isle to not have order lamps. I would just take them out, frankly. Hey, Dan, the move's been great. Um, ooh, two NMs here or just one? Uh, Virginia is, uh, Virginia's nice, especially this time of year. Two NMs, heck yeah. On, eliminate all enemies. So this floor is eliminate all enemies. Um, by the way, if you're just tuning in, just know we are uh, we are recording a YouTube video. I'm doing a guide on how to clear Nizel Isle effectively. Pucks. If you're using Subduction, be aware of Pucks Absorb Wind. SpongeBob's good. He's he's deployed right now, so he'll, he'll be back in a, about a week. I told him you said hello, though. All right, there's the 10-minute mark. So I'm going to go ahead and skip out. The only thing we haven't seen is... Uh, eliminate... Or, sorry. Is the order lamps. And that could almost be... Almost be a separate guide on its own. We're awful close to 40. I could risk it. Hmm. If I risk it and get an order lamp floor, we could just be done for. Now we're gonna we're gonna skip out. Um, order lamps. Uh, Thirty-seven. We're going to thirty-eight. Chat. Do I? Do we think I can do two floors? All right. I'm risking it. Eliminate enemy leader. Very simple. I just got to do... I got to eliminate an enemy leader here. And then whatever we get on the next floor. And then we're on a boss floor. And then we'll exit after that. So keep in mind, like, this is... You are treasure hunting, essentially. Like, I, that's what I love about this content. It really gives me the sense of being a treasure hunter, exploring, you know, ancient ruins. Although... Really, we're just killing enemies in a bunch of ancient ruins. But you're looking for treasure. You're getting it appraised at the end of the day. And seeing what it's worth. Here we go. Found the boss. A 
magic resistant boss at that. Kind of annoying, but. Okay. Going up. Floor 39. This is the floor that's going to make or break us. Eliminate all enemies. Okay. Eliminate all enemies can be very good or it can be very bad. But we've got like seven minutes or so left to do it. Leshy is not a NM. Emeritat is also not an NM. Should have fought them both at the same time, but I didn't see the Emeritat there. This may be the last mob. We might have gotten a very small floor. Okay. No. So, there's a path I didn't see. So we're just going to go find that path. It's right up there, past this. Okay, good, 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 good. Really gotta, really gotta find those, find the root out those enemies. And luckily, we get an NM too. Perfect. This has been a great floor. Uh, personally, this is about as good as you can expect, or as as good as you can hope for for a run of this content. Um, we're getting to floor 40. We've got a few minutes left to spare. We've gotten plenty of NMs. And um, and no order lamps. So this is a this is a really basic good run. Like a little a little above a little above average in terms of effort here. Or uh effort to reward, I guess. With this view, um Especially as a solo run, I should say. I'm gonna make sure I have inventory space. I do. We're gonna grab the chest here and we're gonna pop out. Um, nowadays, you don't really need the loot that drops from here. It's more about the... Uh, It's more about the question mark items. And there's my five minute mark. Now, mind you, I only got 1300 Nizel tokens from this run, which is kind of low when I need 10, I need like, I need like 8,000 to finish Burt Gang. But we're about to go appraise this, these question mark items and see if we can get some decent loot out of the event. And um, to be honest, I don't have great luck, but what I do end up getting quite often is the um, Zenny items. And those are really helpful, especially when you're working on a mythic, to help you skip popping a billion bosses in order to get um, to get all your trials done. Uh, and having to like like zeni items. That's probably another guide of its own is how to do the zeni items. But needless to say, no, I've already said it. I will say. It is totally worth it for the Zenny items. Like, I would much rather do a little bit of this, have a chance at some valuable items, um, and work on tokens and get the Zenny items along the way. I should just use the teleporter. Um, so the, where to get these appraised? St that's the next question. You go to, oh, yo, it's Evans. You go to the Adergan White Gate auction house home point. Hydrate scoop.
Good morning, Nora Snake. So from the auction house point, you just come down the stairs and right here, and this person appraises your items and pops them into, assuming you're in a party, they pop them into the pool. So uh, yeah, let's just start appraising. This seems to be a Chukurpa medal. That looks like it NPCs for a lot. I've never heard of that one. Here's a shield. Royal Guard shield. Probably also NPCs for a decent chunk. Um, if you don't get good items, so like you can get Orpheus Sash from this. You can get um, tr uh, Pulse Weapons. I don't know what Inanna is either. Random Dark Knight weapon. Uh, you can get a number of really good rewards. So I'm going to open the boxes now. This is a suit of ebon mail. Yeah, there's a table, the Alzadal table that comes from this. Actually, I'll show you that before we finish this YouTube video. A fronter cuisses. I don't think there's any good. And these boxes should have uh, Zenny Pops in them. Oh, or, or coin purses. So there's a cotton coin purse. And another cotton coin purse. We'll pop those. Oh, I got a lot on them first. And a lot on anything that uh, NPCs. Great. So all in all, what did we make? We made about 100 Alex um, Alexandrites. We made about 1,500 tokens. We didn't get any Zenny items. Um... Oh, no, we made less Alexandrite than that. We made about 30 total. And let's go to my Mog House and uh, take a look at that. Uh... Take a look at that table. But all in all, you know, like I said, it's like treasure hunting, right? You go in, you go into these ancient ruins, you grab some items, you come out, you appraise them. Maybe they're good, maybe they're not. You get some tokens along the way. You have a chance at Zenny items. It's fun. I I like it during campaign. I wouldn't do Neo Nizal Isle outside of campaign. Um, but that's basically what a run looks like. And lastly, let's go to change floors go to my top floor here this is a rare furnishing that only can come from neo nizal isle it is the alzadal table oh i moved it i used to have it right in the middle oh you know what i meant to redecorate my uh my space up here so i started moving things around anyway that's your furnishing. Yep. Okay, so to recap, there are two types of Nizal Isle you can do. There is Neo Nizal Isle, which is where you can skip floors. There's regular Nizal Isle, which we didn't do in this video, but uh, it's the same content with um, a small exception. You start, you pick the floor you start on, and then you go to floor 100, but you can actually go past that. So if you start on, say, floor 96, and you go past floor 100, you loop back around to floor 1, which is the strategy most people use in order to maximize their uh, Nizal Isle tokens. And I'll actually be doing that in just a moment. I'm, I can actually do that for, for the sort of end of this video. Um, the floors you can do are... Uh, eliminate specified enemy. That's the one where you you find the one that checks as um, as a notorious monster. You can do eliminate specified enemies, which is where you find an Ergen mob type and eliminate all the mobs of that type. You can do uh, the boss, which is find 
either um, who, who it can be a chariot, it can be a pirogo, it can be a kikern, it can be a, fl uh, a yellow flan. Basically, you're finding a unique mob and um, and killing them. So that's one of the other floor types. The other things you can do with the lamps, code, everybody has to touch the same lamp. Uh, same time, which is where all lamps have to be active at the same time. Pretty forgiving window to do that within. Then there's order lamp, which again, we didn't get in this run. Very fortunate. You have to do them all in order. Look for a future guide on that. And did I miss anything, chat? I think those are all the floors. Free floors. You can also get a free floor where you get in and you can just move on. Uh, Nizal Isle, uh, you can skip floors, but you're targeting 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. And you get treasure during the campaign. So, uh, yeah, that's it for Nizal Isle. I am going to... I am going to grab us a, a floor 96 on regular Nizel. So here's uh, the mission for Nizel Isle Investigation. This is regular Nizel. I'm going to get Cashew's Burt Gang today. It's going to be sweet. At least sweet to look at. Let's go and queue in for regular Nizel. Your token reward is a lot higher. So what you'll notice is okay, so if you're doing NNI, you get about what did I get? 1500 for that run, 1700 something like that, but it doesn't cost you anything to go in. And I'm going to go ahead and enter regular Nizel and you'll see the cost for that and the kind of like difference. Okay, so once again, we need to get command verification. I'll do that with Cashew this time. So the person who gets command verification doesn't necessarily have to be the same person who takes you up in floors. Oh yeah, it won't let Cashew. He's the one without Imperial standing. So I'll just do it on Quetch. I knew one of them needed IS. Ooh, I gotta heal. tutorials and how-tos for this game yes i mean the thing is like it helps to have different voices and to like you know what what might not be said in one guide might be said in a different one or the way somebody explains it another person explains it different there's a lot of great info out there but also, the game continues to change. You know, it's slow, but the game does continue to change. All right. So I'm going to use Quetch to take us to floor 96 because Quetch doesn't need the tokens as bad as Cashew. So look at this cost, okay? Floor 96. 1,900 tokens. So one player has to spend these tokens to take you in. Um, but you get a lot more. So I'll probably get about 4K plus from this run as opposed to the 1700 we got for the other run. Uh, once again, same concept except no skipping. You just go floor to floor to floor to floor and uh, and then you exit uh, when you can. I'll, like I said, I'll probably exit around the 10 minute mark. I'm not planning on getting his last 7K in one run. So we're going to do two runs. So it's really going to be very unstressful getting like 3500 per run. Um, but other than that, this is the official end of the video. 
Have a great rest of your day, everybody on YouTube. Uh, if you've made it this far, you're you're awesome. Good luck getting your tokens and working on mythics and stuff like that. And uh, I'll see you next time. Peace.